Hello everyone, good day. Uh, this video that I'm gonna share with you is very wonderful, it's a wonderful investment, very, very safe. For me, one of the safest investments that we can put our money into, which is very timely in this particular uh, time that you know, there's so many factors, risk factors in our investments. In fact, last year, 2022, a lot of a lot of Canadians have lost money in their mutual funds, in their investments in RSPs and TFSAs. And to avoid that from happening again, uh, let me share you this particular investment. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, let's talk about segregated funds. So segregated funds is is an investment that's exclusive only for insurance companies. Okay, this is this is I consider this as investment that is insured. With life insurance, our life is insured. With segregated funds, our investments are insured. Okay, so what are the characteristics of an insured uh, product so insured product should have creditor protection just like our life insurance when we die the proceeds should cannot go to the creditors same with this particular investment it also bypass probate and also a certain a certain level of guarantee okay let me explain it to you one by one so creditor protection okay so this particular investment cannot be paid to whatever debts that you have if your credit cards or any personal debts even CRA cannot touch your segregated funds okay so a lot of people don't realize that investments in the banks don't have creditor protection. So in case you declare bankruptcy or you die, your savings may go to your creditors. Okay, so segregated funds, we can, we can rest assured that any savings that we have, any money that we have in there, it is only for your family members in case of contingency, either death or bankruptcy. So this is actually perfect for people who are also in business which in their their finances are also high risk in case their business would go bankrupt. So second feature of that is bypass probate. So what is probate? Probate is the process of, of transferring the assets of the diseased individual to their family members upon dying. Okay, In other countries, we call it estate process. In Canada, we call it probate process. So probate process is not, is, is not cheap. Okay, that's actually very costly. So in this particular example, the, the client has 200,000 with all the probate fees, which totals to 15,000. So the family member will only receive 185,000. So ask yourself, would you rather 15,000 will just go to fees or the 15,000 will be utilized for by your family members upon our death? For me, I don't want to subject my family to so much grief. You know, they, they suffer the loss plus financial loss as well. Okay, and at the same time, probate fees are also increasing, which is why as much as possible, we can avoid the fees much better. So again, since uh, segregated funds is exempt, so is exempt from probate fees, so no need to worry about uh, fees after our death. So guarantees, what are guarantees? So what if during recession or there would be another pandemic or market meltdown, would you want your money to just go to waste or losses? So another factor of investments also to shelter yourself and your investments from those risk factors. So for me, I have this philosophy in life that even if I don't earn anything from my investment, at least I don't lose anything as well. So you can achieve that with segregated funds because with the, with the common investment, market investments that we have right now in the market, like mutual funds and ETF, those doesn't have any protection uh, against market meltdown. Okay, so let's compare both. So mutual funds and segregated funds. So, okay, let's start with RSP. So what if you had 100,000 in RSP, but unfortunately upon retirement, there was a market meltdown or recession and the value of your investment went down to 75,000. So you would retire with a losing investments because there's no guarantee against market fluctuations. So same thing with death. So upon dying, if, if we die and then the market value of our investment has gone down because of market fluctuations, then our family would inherit a losing investments. So minus creditors, taxes, and probate fees. But with segregated funds, since it has certain level of guarantee, what if we choose 100% guarantee? So if you have 100,000 investment and at retirement it went down to 75,000, so retirement would still be 100,000 because it has certain level of guarantee. For me, this is my favorite feature among all the wonderful features of segregated funds. Because for me, again, I want to keep my investments. I want to keep it intact. I, I don't, as much as possible, I don't want my investment to suffer any further losses. 
The good thing about the maturity though, because you can reset that. What do you mean reset? So for example, you have an initial investment of 100,000. Yes, it went up after five years. So it went up to 150,000. Then you can exercise your reset. So once you exercise your reset, the new guarantee will be 150,000. So even if the market will go down, at least you guarantee for 150,000. So that's actually, that's very, that's wonderful feature of this particular plan because you can bank in your growth over those years. So how can we utilize segregated funds? So we can utilize it as a savings, emergency fund, or including your TFSA. Why? Because again, savings and the banks don't have credit protection. So in case of bankruptcy or death, it will be paid for your unpaid taxes, credit cards, car loans, line of credits, and many other things. And your family may not get anything, right? So if you have a car loan that is bigger than your savings in the bank, then upon death, then would you want that money just go to your creditors instead of your family? So the question though, are your savings really for your family or for your bank or creditors? The solution is put your savings to segregated funds to protect against creditors. Second, how about your RSP? Again, RSP in the banks and mutual funds don't have guarantee on retirement or death. So you might retire with losing investments or your family may inherit a losing investment if you die. So we cannot control the investment market, unfortunately. So the solution though is transfer your RSP to segregated funds to protect against unexpected market crashes. How about RSP, educational plan for your kids? Uh, mutual funds in the banks don't have guarantee and maturity. So some market crash may result up to 30 to 50% loss. So for example, if your RESP account for your child is around 25,000, when the market drops 35%, your child's education fund will be 16,000. So do not gamble your child's money. I, mean, I, I have a five, I'm a father of five children. So my solution though is transfer my RSP to surrogate funds. At least it, I have this peace of mind that my children's college fund will be preserved. How about growth? Okay, segregated, segregated funds may have better growth than most uh, mutual funds in the banks. Why? Because cost may reduce investment growth. So let's compare them side by side. Banks have so many branches and so many employees. While insurance companies, while insurance companies, again, segregated funds are exclusive only for insurance companies. So they only have one head office, sometimes one head office per country, and then some few satellite offices, which are maintained by the brokers anyways, not by the insurance company, and very few employees. So make your comparison, which of the two has more operating costs. So how the higher the cost, the lesser the growth. Do you want better growth? Then transfer your investment to segregated funds. To at least growth is more concentrated based on the portfolio that you will select and it will not be paid to higher operating costs. So other factors that can potentially have positive impact on your investments are active advisor. So a lot of people say, Clive, I already have a financial advisor either in the bank or from my insurance agent. So ask yourself, are those people really really your active advisor or just customer service representative with a bank or sales agent with insurance companies? How do I say that? Because customer service in the bank, they're not really your personal advisor because they're not really going to call you, not unless you go there. So if you go to the bank, you take your absence or your leave of absence, take your vacation just to meet, to meet your advisor. So they are basically customer service. They're going to attend to your customers the moment they go there. Sales agent too with life insurance, a lot of my clients have complained that the moment they have sold them a life insurance plan, they never heard about, they never heard from their insurance agents. So ask yourself if those people really are your active advisors. With me though, I will be your active advisor. On a yearly, on a regular basis, I will do updates on your investments. At the same time, I will assist on regular inquiries and easy withdrawals. So segregated funds maximize your growth without taking too much risks. You can also have a peace of mind with your investments that year after year, you can bank in your growth and you can reset your guarantee. It will also allow you to transfer RRSP, TFSA, savings, and locked in pensions. No mandatory contribution. You may start as low as $50 per month and you can stop anytime without penalty. And no withdrawal restrictions, no penalty, no other charges no hidden charges. So with all the wonderful features of segregated funds, like creditor protection, bypass probate, 100% guarantee, competitive growth, and with an active advisor, you can almost ensure the positive, the positive outcome of your investments. 
So uh, this is actually a true testimony of my client. Okay, so her husband died at 62 years old. Her husband has RSP, TFA, SA, and some savings in the banks amounting to 196,000. Do you know how much the wife got after he died? So when he when her when her husband died, his money was uh, was paid to outstanding taxes. They have two car loans named under the husband, so the money was paid to the car loans, the credit cards, line of credits, probate fees, lawyer and accountant. Do you know how much was the net of all the fees? The wife only got sixty six thousand. That, that's very unfortunate. So examine your your financial structure. If your finances have guarded yourself from all these fees okay again the greatest risk of investment i always tell my client the greatest risk of investment is not really the market the market can always pick up if you don't withdraw your money although it went down it will always pick up the greatest risk of investment is dying because if we die that's the end of the line but the problem here in canada with a very sophisticated financial structure that we have here the succession of assets from the diseased individual to the remaining surviving uh, surviving family member uh, there are a lot of technicalities in it and if you if if you don't know much about the technical matters of your finances then you would end up losing a lot so it's not too late though which is why for me as a father of five children my personal goal is really to protect them for that reason i don't keep too much money in the bank the money that i have in the bank is only my checking accounts okay so most of my investments short term mid term and long term investments are in they are either in stocks or with segregated funds okay so how about you are you just going to ignore this video or you will take full control of your finances thank you for taking time to watch my video i hope you learned a lot from it i also encourage you to watch more of my videos please visit my website it's www.taxcall.ca and on our website please click on tax tips and in there are a series of practical videos about personal taxation, investments, insurance, and other financial matters that you might find beneficial. Please find time to watch them and learn from them. It is my takeaway to you guys as one of my most valuable clients. Thank you very much and have a great day.